To our other top story tonight, on the heels of Austin ISD educators learning they are getting a 7% raise, they are still waiting for the Texas legislature to get a bill addressing teacher pay to the governor's desk. KXN investigator Kelly Wiley has been following the growing shortage of teachers in public schools since last August. She reports more educators are planning their exits now. After 25 years in retirement, former kindergarten teacher Lisa Mosley and her two friends made a pact to come back to teaching. It was at the same time as thousands were leaving the profession. You know, it, it wasn't a, so, a thing that we were looking for a job or we were looking for something to do. It's that we felt like we were needed again. At the time, AISD was amid a historic retention crisis with hundreds of classroom positions unfilled at the start of the school year. And the problem has not let up. We have uh, certain grades where we've had permanent subs all year. Hours after our interview, AISD trustees unanimously approved spending $53 million of the district's reserve funds to give teachers and school employees a raise. The board president said in a statement to KXAN, there's a little bit of risk with this budget, but there's a real risk of not educating our students. Miles away at Round Rock ISD, its board members also approved a 3% raise for its teachers and librarians. But at the Capitol, after months of promising teacher retention was a top priority, and with 10 days left until the end of the session, Texas lawmakers have yet to get one bill addressing teacher pay to the governor's desk. I feel like they're not focusing on the main issue. I think the teachers need more money. The legislators are not addressing that. She and others at her school plan to stay, but she also says many teachers she knows across the state say they will leave. I would say our future is hangs in the balance. Right now, our the teaching industry, the education industry is in free fall. And if something is not done immediately, it's almost too late. There are three bills that have a chance at passing that would give some sort of increase in pay. House Bill 11, Senate Bill 9, and House Bill 100, although they are not all popular with educator advocacy groups. None, though, have been approved by both the House and Senate. Education experts say there is a possibility a pay raise could come through the state budget, which is also not fully approved. But it's not clear what the chances of that happening are. Kelly Wiley, KXAN Investigates.